We're staying with that breaking news from earlier this morning. The CHP is on scene of a shooting on a Greyhound bus traveling on the I-5 this morning. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido has an update from CHP on just how many victims are involved. Daniela? That's right, CHP Fort Tejon confirming there were six victims on that Greyhound bus where a passenger began to fire shots as the bus was going northbound on the I-5. I'm going to move out of the way here to give you a look at that Greyhound bus. Now CHP telling us the driver of the Greyhound bus was actually able to pull out here to this Valero gas station and they tell us there are there were multiple victims but cannot tell us exactly to what extent those injuries are so we don't know if there are any fatalities right now but CHP is is calling it a stable situation and telling us that and not telling us if there is someone in custody at the moment. Now we do know those initial calls came in around 1:30 this morning and that's when that passenger on the Greyhound bus began to fire shots. That driver of the bus was able to pull out here to this Valero gas station and those victims of the of the shooting were actually transported to a hospital and the rest were picked up by a rescue bus. Now KCSO deputy did call this a crime scene and will continue to give you more information as it becomes available. But for now, we're live off of the Grapevine Road East. I'm Daniela Garrido, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Thanks, Daniela. And other news, an educational event for cannabis patients will be happening later today. Everyone over the age of 21 is invited to attend. According to organizers, the event will highlight medical marijuana hero Brownie Mary in a video. Mary Rathbun was nicknamed Brownie Mary in the 70s after she was arrested for distributing marijuana brownies to suffering AIDS patients in San Francisco hospitals. Brownie Mary said to be one of the main reasons medical marijuana is legal. The event starts today at 6 p.m. at 2039. Niles Road. Every year, nonprofits across Kern County rally the community for donations toward their cause for the Give Big Kern fundraiser. This year's fundraising event is happening on May 5th, and to gear up for the big day, organizers are holding several training events. The trainings are designed to help nonprofits prepare to raise money. The first is happening today at the Larry E. Ryder Center at 2000 K Street in room 101. It starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 2.30 p.m. In 2019, Give Big Kern raised close to $430,000 and nearly 89,000 pledged volunteer hours. For more information, you can head to givebigkern.org. Well, for the first time in 50 years, the Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. The Chiefs made a big comeback in the fourth quarter to defeat the San Francisco 49ers. ABC's Kenneth Moten has all the highlights. Chiefs are Super Bowl champions here in Miami. This morning, the Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl champs for the first time in 50 years. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes leading his team to a stunning come from behind win over the San Francisco 49ers. Demi Lovato singing the national anthem, the powerful performance being compared to Whitney Houston. Star power exploded at halftime. Shakira started the high energy celebration. Then it was JLo's turn. With those patriotic flares, including the red, white, and blue of the Puerto Rican and American flags, the Latin artist used the major platform to make a political statement. Images of children in cages. Her daughter Emmy emerging from one to join her on stage to sing a mashup of Let's Get Loud and Born in the USA. As for the game, the Niners scored first. San Francisco had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Mahomes not ready to quit, even after back-to-back -back interceptions, leading KC to one touchdown. First and goal, pass open, touchdown, Chiefs are back in it. And then another, and a third TD, all in the final six minutes. Into the end zone for the touchdown. A first Super Bowl title for veteran head coach Andy Reid and Mahomes, the 24-year-old QB, named Super Bowl 54 MVP. And we never give up. A proud moment for Kansas City, half a century in the making. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, New York. And President Trump made a geographical mistake on Super Bowl Sunday. Within minutes of the Kansas City Chiefs winning the big game, the president sent a tweet congratulating the state of Kansas. The only problem is the team is actually Missouri-based. There is a Kansas City in Kansas, but the Chiefs are not from there. About 10 minutes after the tweet was sent out, President Trump deleted it and sent out another one with the correct state. 
And here's a look at some of the fan reactions in Kansas City as the Chiefs won on football's biggest stage. Kansas City had made the NFL playoffs each of the past four years, but they hadn't advanced past the conference championship game since their last title run. When the Chiefs won their only other Super Bowl in 1969, current head coach Andy Reid was just 10 years old. Parents, listen up. Adventist Health right here in Bakersfield will be offering free childhood vaccine clinics for the month of February. There's going to be two clinics this week. The first one is going to take place on Wednesday at 40 Chester Avenue. The second will be taking place on Thursday at 3301 Panama Lane. Both clinics will run from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Make sure you bring your child's immunization cards. Adventist Health will also be offering free hemoglobin tests to children expecting mothers and postpartum mothers. You do not have to make an appointment for the vaccines, but for a full list of free clinics, you can head to AdventistHealth.org. And the Bakersfield Police Department is currently in search of people who want to be a part of their citizens volunteer unit. These individuals will be working with local law enforcement and giving back to the community. The citizen volunteer unit is designed to promote community participation in keeping the town safe. Applications are available online at the Bakersfield Police Department's website, also in person at 1601 Truxton Avenue and 1301 Buena Vista Road.